All right, in this example, I'd like to show you guys how to use a compass and a straight edge to construct a triangle with three sides that have a fixed given length. So I've started off by drawing the line segments. These are going to be, these line segments represent the lengths of the sides of the triangle that we want to create. Now, the method for this is pretty simple, and I think you'll find it pretty interesting here. Um, the first thing we need to do is we, you know, you can't have a triangle with three sides until you start with one side. So the first thing we need to do is just draw one side of the triangle. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to build my triangle. So this, this side is going to be the base at the bottom of the triangle. You can think about how you could do this as the top of the triangle later. But what I'm going to do is just draw a segment, which is much longer than any of those three sides. Okay. One of these points, I'll say the left one. This one's going to be a vertex of my triangle, all right? And I want this side to be length C. So I'm going to start with what looks like, eh, definitely is, the longest side, the length, side length C, as the base. And then we'll use the other two to, uh, to finish off the triangle. So what I need to do now is I need to measure off this length C. I wrote C here, but this is obviously much longer than this, right? So it's not right. So what I need to do now is take my compass, Put the needle at one end of this segment C, and I'm just going the wrong way. I need to open the compass so that the radius is the length of C. And I'll swipe just to make sure. Okay, the point was in the right spot. I swipe the right amount. That's the length C. Now I want to copy that length, right? So I go down to this segment I just drew, and I'm going to swipe off C. So now I have two vertices of the triangle. It's like we're almost there, right? A triangle only has three vertices. So there we go. There's C. By the way, if this is side C, then these are A and B or B and A. It doesn't matter, but I just made a choice. Okay. I made the A and B. This is side lowercase C length. Okay. Well, since I made this choice, what I need to do now is make sure that the side opposite angle A has length A, right? Given length A. Well, that side is connected to vertex B. Okay, so what I can do now is I can go back to my compass and I can change the opening of the compass to be just this much. So again, make sure it's exactly right. Mark it off to make sure. And now remember, this is side, uh, side length A. So this goes opposite angle A, right, vertex A, and therefore it's got to be connected to vertex B. Now, I have no idea uh, where the, the third vertex is yet, right? But what I know is that the third vertex has to be this many units, this far away from this vertex B. So I can put my needle at B and I can make a big arc of a swipe here. Um, you can go as much as you want. Probably that's enough. All right. And so what I know now is that my vertex, my third vertex C has to live somewhere on this arc. All right. And that's going to guarantee that it's the correct distance away from this vertex B. All right. At this point, you probably can guess the next step, right? The next step is to do the same, apply the same reasoning to find the, the distance from this vertex, right? But to do that, I have to go back up here and I have to change my compass a third time to be the length of this lowercase b. So this is the side length opposite b. All right. But other than that, I repeat the same argument, but I do it from here. And from here, all I need is just enough of the arc to find out where they intersect, okay? And I claim that this vertex right here has to be the vertex C. Well, why is that true? Because based on the arc we just drew, if I connect these two points, all right, we constructed it this way. If I connect these two points, this is length B by construction, I made it that way. And if I connect these two vertices, this has side length A by construction. We made it that way. And so this beautiful triangle right here, right? This triangle has side lengths A, B, C, all right? You could construct this starting with any one of the three sides and repeating pretty much the same argument to find the third, the second and third vertex, okay? Um, but this is a nice process to create a triangle with given side lengths.